yesterday i made a video talking about the new equipment system update coming to rise of kingdoms and within one hour of my video going live the subtitles didn't even process for the video yet and we already got another update from the developers talking about the feedback that they received from this equipment update and apparently this was a lot of drama for the raw community so today we're gonna go over everything that i think players were unhappy about with this equipment system update and then i'm gonna give my thoughts and opinions on how they could probably implement this system a little bit better so that way they don't get so much backlash now if you missed yesterday's video i'm gonna recommend you go ahead and check it out but basically they announced that they're introducing a bunch of new level 50 equipment and new level 55 weapons of course all of these are legendary and the forging and refining of this new equipment is going to be exactly the same as all of the other legendary equipment in the game now i want to make one thing very clear i've said in the past over the last week or so that i want new equipment in rise of kingdoms but what i don't want is power crept equipment okay i want to make that very clear me wanting new equipment does not mean that i want it to be overpowered double the stats of everything else and everything like that okay so let me just let me just be real real clear about that and i do still stand by that i do still want there to be new equipment in the game i want there to be new things that i can choose to build if i want to and a lot of people saw this update as a bad thing and i just want to make it very clear not everybody thought so there were plenty of people in the comment section of my video that were like yeah it's a shame that they're gonna not do this because th it seemed like a solid update to me and just to be clear they did not say that they were not going to go forward with that update what they said was they received a lot of feedback regarding the recently released equipment system update announcement we deeply appreciate your enthusiastic discussions and valuable suggestions about the game nothing matters more to us than the opinions and suggestions of our players as a result we will be reevaluating the recent equipment system update we will carefully consider everyone's ideas to ensure that the game can better meet the expectations and needs of our players well here you go i'm going to give you guys my ideas okay please refer to our upcoming announcements for the most accurate information regarding the game's rules and implementation we are working to release detailed information about the equipment system update as soon as possible thank you for supporting rise of kingdoms we hope you enjoy the game rock group okay so basically what this says they say enthusiastic discussions basically people grabbed their pitchforks and they were freaking out on discord and everywhere else and to be honest I feel like the backlash for this wasn't as bad as some of the other updates so I'm kind of shocked to see this but back in the day they nerfed the amount of AP that you can get from barb forts they literally put a cap on it and I made a video talking about how horrible that was for active alliances and then people who couldn't do math were just like oh well I feel like I'm getting more so that basically <laughs> There wasn't that big of a backlash when like the math shows that it was actually just worse for free to play alliances but people can't do math so it didn't really end up to be that big of a deal but here we see you know something where I, I don't know I feel like there wasn't that much backlash and they immediately sent out this mail literally you could see it is 10 hours apart so they released this update while I was sleeping and then by the time I woke up they pretty much already said that they were going to reevaluate it so really crazy how quickly things changed but let me just paint a quick picture for you guys as to what exactly they're trying to do here okay because I think a lot of people saw this update and I got a lot of comments from people who were saying oh well now all my equipment is useless thanks Lilith and it's like okay that's kind of a brain dead take guys like okay just because you're like let's say that they do release a piece of equipment that has like two percent more stats here it doesn't mean your equipment's useless it just means it's not best in slot and yes obviously we all want to have best in slot everything forever same here okay I don't want to spend money on equipment I'm in the same boat as you guys okay but to say that your old equipment's useless is just intellectually dishonest that's, that's just literally not true you still can use it and it's still better than all the other equipment that you could have at lower rarities so you still have an advantage over players who don't have legendary gear you still have an advantage over new players and players that are free to play who have all purple gear so let's just relax with the hyperbole okay this update was never going to make all equipment obsolete that that just was never going to be the case obviously okay that's like saying oh Joan of Arc Prime is in the game and now my William is useless no he's not he's not useless like yeah okay maybe he's not like 
the best secondary for your Nevsky anymore but he's not useless bro I still use him now look I understand that this is a form of power creep that is setting a new precedent and it is different than releasing new commanders and the reason that this feels so much worse for a lot of players than a new commander cycle is because this is new equipment for every slot for every troop type and it is a higher level across the board all at the same time okay so that would be like if they released CPO Prime Boudicca Prime and Nevsky all at the exact same time all as brand new commanders okay so like I, I get it I get that this feels worse and will be worse than actually new commanders but what I'm trying to say is that this isn't as bad as people seem to think that it is and I kind of have evidence of that so let's go over that now in case you didn't see my previous video basically they're releasing new level 50 equipment for each troop type calves infantry and archers and they're also going to put in new level 55 weapons the helm chest gloves legs and boots will all have set effects but the weapon will not the weapon will be in the kvk shop and the old kvk pieces are removed from the shop and they have a reduced cost players who crafted them will be getting a refund within the next week okay so that's the TLDR of the entire update so basically what we see here is level 50 equipment and the reason that that is significant is because if we come into the blacksmith you will see that every set piece in the entire game is level 45 and in fact even if you're crafting something that isn't a set piece it's still level 45 so something that you would just get from the gold keys is also level 45 so fundamentally all legendary equipment in the game so far has been level 45 all of the accessories every, everything in the game has been level 45 at the legendary tier the exception to that was the kvk weapons we had level 50 weapons for the dominion the hammer of sun and moon and the hydra's blast okay so they're a higher level and they also brought about higher stats and so everybody was freaking out because the new equipment confirmed to be five levels higher than all existing equipment would therefore bring higher stats across the board but how much higher will these stats actually be now of course it could, it's anyone's guess we literally don't know for sure this is up to Lilith to decide but we can sort of assume what these stats might be and the reason for that is because we actually have a lot of variety in the weapon tier and by that I mean the trial of the lost kingdom is a level 40 weapon it's the only level 40 legendary weapon of the game and in fact just to show you how bad the trial of the lost kingdom is it's the same level as epic equipment which is why it feels so bad from a stat perspective it literally has less stats than a special talented weapon of equal value in the epic tier but that's besides the point everyone knows that this piece of equipment is trash but we see that a level 40 weapon gives you 15 percent of stats a level 45 weapon gives you 20 percent of stats a level 50 weapon gets you 25 percent of stats so what do you think a level 55 weapon would give you probably 30 percent of stats now is that by itself actually better well it depends if we have a legendary weapon come into the game that's level 55 and it gives you 30 percent infantry health that's a better weapon absolutely and it is significantly better than the hammer of sun and moon but if we get a infantry weapon in the game that gives you 30 percent infantry attack is it better yes it's better but really not by that much infantry attack is not that valuable and the new level 55 equipment will be more expensive than the existing equipment because as you can see here they have already reduced the cost of the level 50 existing kvk equipment so that is that but if we take a look at the hydra's blast it gives you 25 percent archer defense but what if the new equipment gives you 30 percent archer attack is that better I don't know it might not be it might actually just perform exactly the same for a higher material cost now with a special talent sure maybe it is slightly better but now we're talking about special talenting a kvk weapon that 99.9 percent .9 of players like you're not gonna ever get the special talent right unless you're a giga whale anyway so it's not that big of a difference okay but let's move over to the helmets for example because now we know that we're going to be seeing level 50 helmets and we've never seen that before so we have to see okay well what is the difference between a level 40 helmet and a level 45 helmet well great news we have level 40 helmets we have the witch's lineage this is level 40 epic piece it is eight percent of stats but it's ten and a half percent with a special talent which we already know if you play long enough it, it doesn't even take that long honestly eventually you will get a special talent for all of your epic gear which is really nice so you'll get ten and a half percent of stats for all your epic gear now if you compare that to the level 45 equipment 
this gives you 11 percent. okay so from 8 to 11 that is three percent stat difference so you could probably make the case and the argument that a level 50 helmet will probably have about 14 percent infantry stats okay well great news there's actually precedent for that already the fierce wolf set is a level 50 set for some reason the entire fierce wolf set is already level 50 and all the new equipment that we see coming into the game is also apparently going to be level 50 except for the weapons which we've already talked about so actually we can kind of assume that the stats on the fierce wolf the leather wolf armor set probably are a close reflection of what the level 50 gear might be for all the other troop types okay so if we look at the helmets here we're going from a level 45 set piece with 11 percent of stats and perhaps the new infantry set helmet will be 14 and a half percent of infantry stats okay is that better well it's more stats but again this gives you infantry defense what if the infantry piece the new one level 50 gives you infantry attack would you prefer 14 and a half percent infantry attack over 11 percent infantry defense I don't know I guess it would depend on the set bonus and what the rest of the set actually gives you but again we can't say that categorically level 50 equipment will be better you just can't say that without seeing the stats and I would be willing to bet that some of the level 50 equipment despite having technically a higher number here it probably won't be best in slot okay we already see that with like the Sakura Fubuki versus the gatekeeper shield this gives you way more stats but because it is a less premium stat it performs basically the same as the talented gatekeeper shield we've talked about this a million times on the channel okay so we can see here that fundamentally you cannot say that a higher level equipment will always be power creep and will always be better now again it could be the case that they just release all new sets with all health and it's just absolutely broken and you know of course they could do that and, and we just don't know i'm hypothesizing here based on how they've already handled equipment in the game but again i suspect that this will not be power creep categorically across the board i just don't think that that's going to be the case but the fact remains that some of this equipment that is coming out at level 50 will be better that is the truth and so while i believe that all this new equipment won't just automatically be best in slot and therefore all of your equipment won't be useless i i just got so tired of hearing the word useless we have people in the comments are like man you're telling me i got my pride of the con a year and a half ago and now it's power crept out of the game brother you better get me a full refund like why would you get a refund you used it for a year and a half it's not useless you literally used it you got the value out of it what do you mean you've been killing people for a year and a half with it you're not entitled to a refund after a year and a half try to do that with your new iphone or try to do that with a pair of shoes like oh well I wore it for a year and a half and now the new ones are out that's some bullshit isn't it like come on come on okay now let me be honest with you guys for a moment all right while I don't think that this update will be as bad as people are making it out to be and the fact that they've already released a mouse saying that they're going to reevaluate it means that they will probably adjust this to be not as painful as players think which is a good thing but the fact remains that there will be some new equipment that comes into the game that will just be objectively better okay even if it's only by three percent even if it's you know goes from 25 percent defense to 30 percent or god forbid they release a 30 percent infantry health shield and then i feel super bad for crafting my hammer of the sun and moon okay i'm in the same boat as you guys right there's no doubt in my mind that some of this equipment will be more powerful because otherwise why would it be a higher level and why would they even go through all the effort of including it in the game to begin with they didn't want to power creep it they would have left it all at level 45. so what that means is yes some of your legendary equipment will be obsolete after this update and that does not feel good and i'm in the same boat me too some of my equipment is going to be obsolete probably the hammer of sun and moon okay let's just be honest here it's chilling on my cpo this is probably going to go down as one of the worst investments in my account history but here's the thing okay the reason that this feels so bad for players is because we've never really seen an update like this before we're used to seeing new commanders trickled into the game every 70 days or so and we're used to seeing new relics we're used to seeing you know crystal technology we're used to seeing new systems like the armaments all of that we've seen before and even if we don't like it at least we kind of expect there to be some new system every year that's a little bit of power creep but in all the years that we've seen equipment in the game we've never seen them just 
flat out release better equipment now there was an update back in the day that did completely rehaul the entire equipment system and if you guys didn't know there used to be i think seven different materials and now there's only four right i mean obviously if you come into production here we have the leather we have the iron ore we have the ebony and we have the animal bones but effectively these don't even count so there's really only three back in the day there was like seven or eight or something like that it was actually insane they revamped the entire equipment system and as a result of that they gave a lot of players refunds on a lot of the material and I think because of that players kind of had their gear reset in a way I mean you still kept your gear but you kind of had a lot of your materials put into I think choice chests and it lets you kind of reevaluate how you wanted to build the new equipment in the game they changed the stats for a lot of the equipment and stuff like that so you know they they had to do it okay uh and I think that that update went over pretty well because everyone got a huge refund uh but besides that we've never seen them just release better stuff now again the, the kvk weapons are kind of an outlier here like they weren't always in the game but regardless they were so powerful people thought that these were like the capstone of your account and it kind of did feel that way and people thought that that was it you're done okay and also there's a trade-off for these because the other weapons are set pieces so it wasn't even like categorically better so yeah that's besides the point the point is that we've never really seen any sort of power creep within the existing equipment system and this sets a new precedent and since I'm certain that there will be at least some pieces of legendary equipment that are actually just objectively better with the release of this new system even if it's not as bad as we probably think it is from a knee-jerk perspective I think the solution here is to remove the penalty for dismantling legendary equipment and I know that Lilith probably doesn't want to hear that okay but let's just be real this is a horrible punishment for players for crafting equipment that they didn't know had the potential to be power crept out of the game because we've never seen it before so players throughout the past year or two or even longer than that have been crafting gear with the assumption that it was safe that they were getting what they were getting they knew what they were getting and they could refine it over time and it was a guaranteed way to improve that piece and so people just invested in it because they believed that it was a safe investment and now the rug has been pulled out from beneath them and we see that there is the potential for power creep in this system and again on its own I actually don't hate it I, I know that's like an unpopular opinion here but I, I do want there to be more equipment I want there to be more things that we can build and work towards and different pieces that we can put together but in order to make that happen you've got to remove the penalty here it it just doesn't make sense anymore right if these were if the legendary pieces were the capstone end all be all this is your best set and you should never change it then it makes sense why you would want to have a penalty I mean not not really right I I always think the penalty here has been really stupid and it feels really really bad for all players forever no one's ever been happy about it and really it just hurts the player experience especially new players who are crafting pieces of equipment that they don't know are bad right like shout out to Shio's return for example okay but now more than ever now that we have a reason now that we have a choice now that there's something new and there's something better now I think is a time where we need to reevaluate the cost for dismantling and in fact probably just get rid of it honestly I think that's the solution I, I think that anything short of that players are not gonna like this update um I think that really is just the fundamental truth here uh, I'm okay with when you dismantle you don't get the blueprint back I understand that I think that's fine and you don't get the gold back I understand that that makes sense to me but the fact that you don't even get all your materials back is crazy like that is actually crazy especially in a world where now we know there will be some gear that is just actually better so Lilith if you're watching that is one of my suggestions just remove the penalty for dismantling the legendary equipment it makes no sense it's bad for players it's not good for new players it's not good for people who make a mistake by accident they don't know that they're not investing in a good piece there's nothing good that comes out of that penalty especially now that we're getting newer better equipment like now there's actually a reason to dismantle legendaries whereas in the past there wasn't really a reason so the penalty wasn't that bad I guess now there's a reason now it feels bad now it is bad and it's worse than ever so please you got to give back all the materials you have to now the other elephant in the room here is the individuals who have recently spent their coins on some of the uh, kvk weapons and helmets in the shop okay and i got a lot of comments from people saying oh great i just spent my coins on so and so weapon and now it's not going to be the best weapon now it's useless now it's whatever now again 
we already went over this it's not useless okay but I do think that you should get a refund on these coins uh I think if you have purchased a weapon or helmet from the kbk shop within the last probably 60 days then you probably should get a refund um for from the coins right because if players had known that these weapons were going to be removed from the shop put in a different event that you can get with gems nobody would have spent their conquest coins on these weapons had they known that right and so I, I think it's only fair that these coins get refunded to those players that recently bought these from the the kbk shop now again i don't think they should refund everyone who's ever bought this because it's like you know if you bought it a year ago and you've been using it for every kvk it's like you don't really need I mean why would you get a refund for that right like you've been using it that that's that's what you paid for to use the item and you've been using it right it's not like you're gonna get a refund for Saladin because Nevsky's in the game so I understand that there has to be a limit to the refund here but I do think that there has to be one I, I think if they want to operate in good faith and continue to deliver a good experience for the players they have to give some amount of conquest coin refunds here because I mean they're literally replacing it out of nowhere there's never been a precedent set for this people would have never expected this they could have not planned for this on their own it's not like they made a mistake in doing this players bought these pieces in good faith thinking that they were going to be the best and now they aren't so that feels really bad hopefully they will refund some amount of conquest coins for players who invested in these after some duration of time another thing that they could do is just not make it level 50 and 55 respectively I mean they could literally just release a new set for every troop type that is still 45 and 50 and make it on par and provide the same amount of stats as the existing gear right now this still would feel kind of bad because like we'll use the set legs for infantry as an example even if the new set is reduced to level 45 and it still only provides 11 percent of stats but it's 11 percent of infantry health well that is fundamentally just a better piece than what is already in the game so anyone who crafted this would therefore you get the idea but I still think that players would be happier to know that the new equipment coming to the game isn't actually just across the board higher stats I think players would be more forgiving of that even though there's still the opportunity for some of those pieces to just actually be better than some of the pieces that already exist in the game like the tacits of the hellish wasteland for example any set piece even if it gives 11 percent if it gives defense or health it's just going to be categorically better than this piece so that's another route that they could take that's just been my two cents on the whole thing I would love to hear from you guys in the comments section below I know again a lot of you were happy about this you were like oh great new equipment I can work on new equipment and a lot of you were feeling really bad about this and saying oh my god I just crafted equipment this is awful uh so I would love to hear from you guys down below and let me know am I wrong about things am I right about things guys with that being said if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it comment down below your thoughts on this and subscribe to the channel while you're down there and click the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video but I do have a giveaway for the month of August August is almost over so enter the giveaway for free with the link in the description all you have to do is click the link and follow me everywhere on social media that's literally it it's that simple and you will be entered to win the giveaway also you have to be subscribed obviously and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace